<laughs> Come on, donkeys. Avoid the green grass. Don't worry about that. Keep going. Keep going, peeps. Let's go. Why do you look annoyed? Because I'm annoyed. Why? They're your donkeys. Because you, sometimes your ideas suck. I, you didn't have a better plan. I just went with your first plan. Well, what's up, guys? It's Daniel from Arms Family Homestead, and uh, we're going to move some animals around today. Got a lot of stuff to do. Uh, Weston's had all the equipment out. He's pressure washed the tractor, the uh, Can-Am, and the skid steer for me today. Also, got a hydraulic line repaired. We had all kinds of issues with our, our uh, side boom cutter, and uh, finally got all the hydraulic lines fixed. Need to get that reassembled. I don't know if that'll happen today or not. Squirrel just jumped on a tree right beside me. He's literally, where'd you go, buddy? He's been eating the feed out of the barn. He's hiding right here somewhere. Anyways, DJ's gonna come out and help me because we're gonna move the goats and RJ and everybody to the pasture behind the house and let them browse on different forage back there i may have to put a panel up at the bottom of the gate back there because it sticks up off the ground far enough that i think the goats some of the goats could get under but it's going to be interesting because i want to move the goats all the way back there so there's three pastures in a row here let's see the goats have got to go where the donkeys are right now and the donkeys have got to come into the middle pasture but i can't just run the goats straight over there and then separate the donkeys and run them straight back so we're gonna have to figure this out this takes a little bit of proper prior planning to prevent what is it i can't say it proper prior print you can't either apparently proper prior planning prevents poor performance there's one p i left out yeah censored anyways so i gotta figure out how to get the donkeys i think what i'll do is set up some portable panels <laughs> in here run the goats to the back of this pen and then bring the donkeys down through and set them up so that I can lock the donkeys in one of DJ's stall pins and then run the goats out through here. I think they'll follow a feed bucket to the back pasture. Shouldn't be any problems at all. That's why we're videoing it because there should not be any drama, should not be any issues. We'll see. Famous last words, right? Definitely. Let's do it. <laughs> so are the geese going back there? Are they going to be right behind the house too? don't they just kind of go where they want they just go where they want to yeah they they do what they want when they want how they want and as loud as they want but first i feel like when things could go a cluster you're required to wear <laughs> longhorn lester mm -hmm. things could get western today and if it does we're blaming rj it's going to be rj's fault because rj's like the new resident uh troublemaker well of course he is exactly <laughs> what is that it's, it's in his lineage <laughs> yeah and uh the geese will tell us everything we're doing wrong of course they came from lester you oh, know they're not geese i'm convinced they're like part swan <laughs> they're humongous they are very large and they're very loud uh that's some thunder. Did you know it's supposed to storm? No, I looked at the weather and it was like 10 to 15% chance, like all day. Yeah, look, blue sky. I don't know if the uh, camera picked, where'd you go? I was trying <laughs> to get to where I could see through the trees and it's I don't know dark. If the, I don't know if the camera picked up the thunder, but that was kind of some scary rolling thunder in the distance. It was loud. All right. yeah. So I'll hold the camera. Him. He was like on the, uh, the turkey's missing some tail feathers, and I think he's the reason yeah, why. He just did it. Look, yeah. Look. Oh. Interesting. Houston used to say, I don't like the, the thunder. thunder. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. I'll hold the camera and keep everybody entertained. Oh. You move the animals. Why don't I hold the camera and you two goobers do it? Who do goober? <laughs> you goober. Hey, show show them your sting. He got. I don't want to see a stinger. Look at that. <laughs> Pull your shorts down. <laughs> he got stung yesterday by something. It is huge. Is that like your favorite year, your favorite truck, or something? 1932. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I go with your Catholic tattoo on your arm. Yeah. 
Mm-hmm. We're not Catholic, by the way. I know. Look. And then you got to hate, hate love. love. Yeah, I'm, I'm getting that covered. It's horrible. This guy has a problem. I photoshopped it out of our beach pictures. <laughs> no, yeah. You can see they it. noticed. Chris showed me yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> One of his old bosses commented on his picture on Facebook yeah. and was like, did you borrow your shorts from your girlfriend? <laughs> and I was like, no, he had to show off the hate love tattoo. No, we don't pay attention to that. <laughs> stupid, young, terrible decision. Okay. <laughs> what do you got on your arm? I don't know what, no, mine's not stupid, and I'm not young. Oh. As she is. Oh. You're right about that one. I might have gotten one. We'll show it later. When? When you post your beach pictures, because it wasn't in there. Ooh, DJ got a new tattoo. These my sweet little old ladies are not going to approve of that. I are know they? they're not, but all those flowers have a meaning. We just don't understand. Well, it. they're they're the kids in Daniel's birth month flowers. That one's Emily's. I think that one's Weston's. <laughs> that one's Houston's, and this one's Daniel's. We think. No, I'm, and you've got I a safety net in case anything ever happens. Your sister and I have the same birth month. <laughs> That's so. right. I don't. I don't do husband names. <laughs> I do kids names, but not husband. <clears throat> All right, back to the intent yeah. of this video. You guys are just talking too much. Sorry. Hey guys, today's video is sponsored by Policy Genius. If someone, if you have anyone at all that's relying on your income, you need life insurance. It's just that simple. And Policy Genius is your one-stop shop to get the right life insurance policy for you and your family. I lost my mom at a very young age. I was six years old and my dad passed away when I was 21. I don't know what we would have done when my dad passed away if he didn't have a life insurance policy to help pay for all of his final expenses, funeral and all that stuff. I was just a young guy that didn't have any income really to speak of when he passed away. I was just a college student and it was all put on, put in my lap to take care of all that stuff and without his life insurance i i don't know what we would have done honestly policy genius was built to modernize the life insurance industry their technology makes it easy to compare life insurance quotes from america's top insurers in just a few clicks to find your lowest price with policy genius you can find life insurance policies that start at just 25 dollars per month for one million dollars in coverage some options offer coverage in as little as one week and avoid unnecessary medical exams. Their licensed agents work for you, not the insurance companies. That means they don't have an incentive to recommend one insurer over another, and you can trust their guidance. Policy Genius is for parents, caregivers, and anyone else who has people that depend on them. They simplify the process of getting life insurance so you can protect the people you love. There are no added fees, and your personal details are private. No wonder they have thousands of five-star reviews on Google and Trustpilot. Your loved ones deserve a financial safety net and you deserve a better way to find it. So head to policygenius.com slash armsfamily or click the link in the description box down below to get your free life insurance quotes and see how much you can save. Take two. Take two. Oh. <laughs> we may need take 12. <laughs> RJ, I need you to be good for me today. Come on in, Mom. All right, fine. It's no big deal. It's a lot of birds in here. What's the worst that could happen? Oh. A goose scream at you? They well. just get loud. They're, the louder you get, the louder the geese get. And then they didn't. What, buddy? Oh, no, sir. No. That is not what we're doing. You haven't trained your alpaca not to jump on you. I've told him plenty. Oh, you told him. I've told him. I haven't spanked his butt, but... Maybe that's what's coming. Oh, that's connected? Yeah. yeah. I did not know that. Come on, girl. Baby. Yeah. You leave the turkey with your mama? Oh. Mama? <laughs> I thought he was talking to you too. <laughs> what? <laughs> Alright, girls. Listen, I'm going to need you to line up single file, and we're all going to walk straight up to the barn, up into the hot, sunny spot. Okay? Just avoid all the fresh green grass. Okay? Oh, I made it in the water. You did. I heard it. 
头。The problem is the gate only goes that way. Watch, then I'll block them all. They won't go to the gate. Look at Fair. Come on, just the donkeys. Uh, and alpacas. That thunder doesn't sound good. I know. That's why you're going. Come <laughs> on, donkeys. Avoid the green grass. Don't worry about that. Keep going. Keep going, Phoebes. Let's go. Phoebe, come on. I'll just ride you up to the, to the barn. <laughs> Let's go, fella. Let's go. You think Phoebe will run? Ooh, it's a little muddy. Hey, huh? You think Phoebe will run? Yeah. <laughs> oh, duck. Let's go, Packus. You two, come on. Come on, you two, come on, go to the barn, go, 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 go freedom. Oh, take turns, okay. Oh, there's not any snakes out here. Oh. We got about half the gang gang. Yep. Let's go ahead and push them in there and then we can shut that gate so that they don't go back out. Okay. Come on, girl. Come on, girl. Make a corner. Come on. Come on. BB. Turn around. Come on. Follow. Follow Lucy. No, Phoebe. Oh, the gate open. Come on, girls. Well, we got the alpacas. We'll get the donkey. Oh, that's a one. Oh. Donkeys. Donkeys. That should be your job. What? Because they're your girls. So they follow you. This Where's your sure treat idea? Bucket? Where's your treat button? I am actually out of treats. I gotta get treats. Uh, we have apples and cucumbers. Uh, actually, I fed them the last cucumber. I could have gotten an apple. You got any more excuses? I was just telling you, I've been to the grocery store. I got your alpacas in. Your donkeys are off crazy. I knew this would be a tough spot because this, this is where we want the donkeys. Just not yet, because I've got to be able to get the goats through here and into the back pasture. So I got to get the donkeys out before we can let them in. Any suggestions? I have none. They like the fresh green grass. Yep. Listen, girls, it, this is where I want you. Just not yet. I need you to come eat. Okay? We're going to follow the feed bucket, right? Said no donkey ever. Huh. You'd rather have the green grass, and I don't blame you. Come on, girls. Don't worry about him. He won't hurt you. Larry, is your job in life to make things difficult? Huh? Donkeys are scared of you, Larry. Here, Phoebe, come get a bite. Larry, go on, buddy. Find somewhere else to get. You're scaring my donkeys. Come on. Y'all just go around, Larry. Come on. Hey, Phoebe, you're going the wrong way. Come on. Fallon. Phoebe. Come on, Fallon. I got distracted. I couldn't tell. So I had them all the way right here to this compost pile. And then Larry caused a problem. So, donkey mom, since these are your girls, let me see if I like donkey snacks. Okay. Yep, that's pretty good. Work your magic. Girls, come here. Well, I got Phoebe here, and mom's got very little progress out there.
very, very little progress out there. Seems freedom would rather have green grass. Yep. She said thanks, but no thanks. Well, there, donkey lady. Phoebe's in here. She's the only one brave enough to go past the goofy dead gum turkey. Hey, maybe we should just dump out the feed and let them do their thing and let them work their way up here. Apparently, you like donkey treats. No, I'm eating the nectarine. Eating the DJ treat, huh? Mm -hmm. Come on, Farah. See, that's what happens when you don't mess with them. They make up their own mind. It's like they're hard-headed donkeys or something. She yeah, she spit it out. I saw her. Look, we're not even making her go in there. It's got to be their idea. You know, it's probably what it's like working with old Lester. You know it? what? This is probably about, the, about what Jamie has to deal with. Huh. You're not saying anything. Oh, I thought you were talking to Farah. Oh, I'm sure. <laughs> I feel for Jamie. A lot. Well, it's your turn. There's two donkeys. It's got to be their idea. That's the thing. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> no. So. Oh. <laughs> I told you they're scared of him. Well. Why do you look annoyed? Because I'm annoyed. Why? They're your donkeys. Because you, sometimes your ideas suck. I, you didn't have a better plan. I just went with your first plan. That's and it. Now these three won't go in here, but we need the don the goats past here. So what's your suggestion? Oh no, we're doing it your way. What did you suggest off camera? Before we started? I didn't suggest anything before we started just now. I said, let's get the goats down there, and if those three try to go with them, we'll keep them in here. <laughs> we'll give it a go. <laughs> Well, your plan is not working. <laughs> so, if you I got the donkeys in the pasture where I want them. Just oh my too Lord. soon. <laughs> all right. So, all you, you want to turn the goats out. You want to let the goats out, bring them down, and see if they'll follow a feed bucket and follow us to the back pasture. That's what you want to do, yes. That's what you said. That was your plan from the beginning. <laughs> Lester would never do it this way. I'm not gonna say anything here. I mean, my shirt's obviously not working. I tried to wear the Longhorn Lester shirt because he's like. Maybe you should have tried to do your best shirt. Oh wait, you don't have one. Uh huh. Larry, you're the problem. Larry the is problem. the problem. Everybody's afraid of Larry. Well, maybe you should pin him up for a minute. Ducks have made a nice, nice little thing here. Huh? The ducks. That's pepper. Oh, pepper? Pepper is the one that's a pig that wallows in a hole. Well, I knew she did that, but the ducks also get in it. Okay. This is DJ's plan. No. I'm doing it DJ's way. Continuing your plan. Come on, goats. Hey, Lambert. Come on, goats. Well, we got bear. Come on, goats. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Lambert, go. Lambert, go. We'll get you some more. Dump food out. I don't know. Go, Lambert. Oh, great. Go, Lambert. Come on. Forget him. Can't get Lambert. Hey, hey, Goober. He's gonna follow you. Come on. Okay, well, Lambert's not. Excuse me. Okay. I do what he says. 
Or alpaca. Let's go, RJ. RJ. I guess we'll focus on these. Taking his time. He said, I didn't want to get them mixed up. No mixing going on here. Yeah, my donkeys didn't mix with your goats, by the way. This is what farming with your spouse looks like. Go, Skip. <laughs> Skip, your boobies are shaking side to side. <laughs> Maybe she should go to CrossFit. Huh. Listen. Are you going to shut the gate? No, I want to hear you say it. I ain't saying nothing. Say, you were right, I was wrong. No, you were the one trying not to do this. I've been trying to do this all day. And then you tried not to off camera. I said... No, it's not gonna work. I don't want to mix them. I don't want to get them mixed. Listen, I told you. Kill this horse fly on my back. He's biting. Ooh, swat I'm him. not here. Swat him. Swat no. the horse fly. <laughs> Sorry, I wasn't hitting it with my hand. I told you he was biting me. Well, I don't care. I'm not gonna let him sting me. Now, now what are you gonna do with RJ? Because RJ's back there with his ladies. It's fine. It's fine. You said he would follow the goats. No, I didn't. You did. No. Yes, that's on camera. I know. All right, goats. Y'all do your thing back there. Y'all got, got a little shelter up there. Make sure you got plenty of water. I do need to uh, put a panel at the bottom of one gate. And she's just got to figure out what she's going to do with her little alpaca boy. You know what everybody's going to say in the comments, right? Put him in the bro pen. No. It's dangerous. Too dangerous. Not doing that. Not risking it. Nope. Why don't you clean up that dead tree there, man? That looks trashy. Oh if only you had some equipment or something that would chew it all up and spit it out. That's your area. We have enough. Enough equipment. No more inventory, as you like to call it. I, I don't I don't I don't accept that. I accept that about as much as you accept me saying no more donkeys. We I have, plenty have not of donkeys. gotten a new donkey in a very long time. Well, part I of the reason come to the, the rules. Part of the reason we're moving donkeys around is so you can do what? Make more donkeys, not buy more donkeys. There's a difference. Okay. There is. Okay. Well, I make deals with companies. I don't technically buy all that equipment. I make deals. How, what say you now? Well, your deals take up a lot of space. But they're fun. So they're so much fun. So okay. are my donkeys. Okay, okay. RJ, we need to talk. We need to talk. Come here. Come here. We need to talk, okay? You ready? Hang on. You ready? <laughs> oh, yeah. Watch Listen. Oh. Watch where you're kicking. So, uh, day in the day here deadlifted 500 pounds today so this should be nothing hey somebody's got to hold the gym record <laughs> might as well be me that's true <laughs> <laughs> i don't think the barbell moved that much so no. <clears throat> here are you going which way are you going i'm going to walk right back to the gate oh <laughs> it's much easier than just trying to get him to go where you want him to <laughs> No doubt. I think I could put him on my shoulders. 
you know, like you carry your kid. <laughs> yeah. With a leg on either side of my head. Oh, why don't you try that? Let no, me I'm see afraid it. you'll kick me in the face. <laughs> <laughs> it's your turn. Oh, I don't know if I can. He's getting heavy. Constrain him. <laughs> I'm sure I could carry him while he's just still, but. This is why we go to the gym every day, right? Yeah. <sighs> Hang on. Transition, you're gonna have to get under his back legs. Oh, he's so hot. <laughs> he's so hot. You got him. Oh, how much do you think he weighs? He's heavier than I thought. <laughs> well, he's heavier than when he was born. Well, he's not what I deadlifted today. <laughs> so. <sighs> you got this. I, I could have carried him all the way, I'm just saying. I think you were going down. I, I could have carried him all the way. DJ just volunteered to pick up the slack the last 15 yards. Oh. It was more like 30, but... Bear, we got your compadre back. Oh. Get back, get back, get back. I didn't think about the release. The release? He'll jump. Okay. Good boy. He'll jump and kick and spur and oh. buck. and. I'm sweaty. And you know what? I can also let the goats out here some days. Look at all that goat food. So, I wonder if this is what our meteorologist posted about. No. No? It's not? No, that's not it. This is straight up beggar lice stick tights. I'm sure it has a technical name. Oh. But this is not the flower that you saw on Facebook. Oh, okay. I don't know what that was. But this is what makes my brain hurt yeah. with your little poodle dog, Earl. Oh, my dog. Because these stick tights stick in his fur <sighs> okay that's that that's that go be goats RJ go be great I guess did you do your best yeah okay good let's go through here one more time I'm just curious why you're walking back with a limp I've been You're walking like, funky for three days. Uh, yeah, uh, oh, uh, uh. You have two, by the way. I'm walking straight as an arrow. You have nothing not sore, nothing's no. You're pulling for out too. No, prove it. Really? Prove it. <clears throat> Crossfit cross, cross cross Crossfit is my friend, remember? It is. It, it hurts is. so good. But it does hurt sometimes. So all right, only thing left now to do is let the alpacas and the two little donkeys back out. Yes. Should be easy. And then they'll have all of this green pasture to graze on for probably about a week, and they'll have it grazed down to nothing, I'm betting, because we're fixing to come into the prime summer heat. And, yes, it does look nice and pretty and green in here right now. We'll see how long it lasts. The good news is, though, with this bunch too. in here, the good news, we'll see how long it lasts. <laughs> that was wrong. The good news is, where they're at here, I can put up another hot wire into that about two acre field on the back side of this pen and open a gate back there and they'll have a couple more acres of grass. Okay. What? They were laughing at my joke. They thought it was funny. You think those geese are laughing at your joke? Yeah, they were. <laughs> See? <laughs> <laughs> they're like, real freaking funny. Larry? You weren't eating my bucket of feed, were you? Hmm? He <laughs> coos. <laughs> yeah, you'll run if you know what's good for you. All right, DJ. You get to release the demons. All right. Here we go. Let's go, demons. I'll get out of your way. All righty. Oh, look, look, I don't have anything hanging out of her mouth. Uh, look at her back. Yeah, she might. She's have. got an extra inch of cover on her back right now. Yeah, she does. So, why don't you run them out that gate and shut the gate so that they have to stay in that pasture? Here you go, Pepper. You're the only one left in this pasture. And you'll probably be the only one in here for a little while. 
So I really would like to let this pasture rest for a few weeks. I know DJ's going to want to use, I think anyways, Steve and Jerry soon to uh, breed some donkeys and alpacas. So what we made, huh? Not, not together. Not together. No. But what we can do, since the girls are on this side and the boys are on that side, we can just let Steve and Jerry in here and then bring what girls in that you want to breed to. Because switching pins easy. That's not, that's not difficult at all. No. Right? Wrong. Pepper, you're a dirty girl. You want a bath? Cool you down a little bit. Buddy likes to get wet, don't you? And don't bother the tortoise to get a little bath. Have a good evening, dude. Well, guys, chores are done. Everybody's watered. Everybody's fed. No rainstorm has hit us yet. The sun's still out. Hear a loud roll of thunder in the distance every once in a while, but I don't think we're going to get any rain today. However, these girls will all be happy and well fed on nice green grass in here for a while and uh, the goats will take care of everything behind the house i think with the number of goats i've got in that big of a pasture back there uh it'll probably outgrow their grazing ability if we keep getting a few little rain showers now and then these girls i have no doubt are going to graze this down pretty short and not too much time um it does look really good right now there's quite a few weeds out in here but you know it's it looks a hundred times better than it did just a month or two ago. And, you know, getting, I know Ralph, a lot of, a lot of people were not uh, happy with us processing Ralph and putting him in the freezer, but that was meat to feed our family. And that was what, that was why we had him as why we kept him. But beef do graze a ton. They eat, it takes a lot of forage to keep them happy. And donkeys are like horses. They, they'll graze it down really short. Alpacas, their mouth way, their mouth of design, they can nibble the grass off right at the dirt. And so I do know that we kind of get things overgrazed, but we want to keep our animals in close to the house because they're here for, you know, as much of you guys' entertainment purpose as they are anything else. And today's video, you know, we could have done things a little bit differently, but, you know, it was, it was all about good, clean fun. DJ and I are out here taking care of mostly her animals. My goats just went right straight to where they were supposed to be. They were no problem at all. She's not out here to defend herself, but her donkeys, they were the pain today. So uh, it's all good, clean fun. We just enjoy it. Lester, Longhorn Lester. If you don't know who Lester is, go check out Longhorn Lester. I'm a Survivor Sanctuary, both channels. Incredible family, incredible friends of ours. I, I love Lester. But uh, he wears one of my T-shirts every now and then and kind of pokes fun and, you know, does the Lester things. But... It's just all good, clean, fun, like we said. So, guys, that's all I've got for today. I'm going to go in the house, take a shower, and wash some of the RJ off of me. So, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. You guys have a great day. And, as always, we'll see you on the next video. Izzy, is that all y'all do all day? Nurse.